Hi people. This is a quick introduction to the changes that have come in with version 5. Um, the screen is not that much different from what you used to, so we'll just say we don't want to simulate any monitors. Uh, here I have an empty event set up, um, and I'll just show you entering a couple of shooters. Add him onto squad one, and there he is. Now you might have noticed that that flashed pink briefly. Then, uh, once again, that is part of the multi-user system, and we'll talk about that later. Uh, another shooter. Add squad one. Okay. Now notice here. Greg Dawes is a qualified referee and his shooter number has been put at 8 which is the at the bottom end of that squad. Emilio is not a referee and he's put in as number 1. Now that's just a normal part of the um, numbering system. In this case we're not using automatic sh shooter numbering but it's still applying some rules to this for us. Um, we'll add another shooter who is a referee as well. Uh, Rod Salagari, notice he is a referee. And he has gone in as shooter number seven, again at the top end. Okay, so if we want to change the rounds that Emilio is shooting, we can click on this button, which will increase the first round that he shoots now up to two. So we're seeing rounds two to four, rounds three and four. If I hit that button, it will reduce the number of rounds he's shooting, and now he's just shooting round one. Um, and I can move him to any round. If I click on that button there, it will give him give back all rounds. Um, okay, so that's nominations. Not that much different from what you used to. Um, as for score entry, again, not terribly different. I'll start by entering a score in the search box up here. So let's say Emilio got a 19, and notice that that was taken from there and placed down there, and we now moved on to there. Uh, Rod might have got an 18, and Greg might have got a 20. Okay, so that's again very similar to what you used to with the previous system. Now, if you decide that that score is not correct and that should have been 17 then you can just update it like that click on it in the first place to select it update it and once you do that you're in a random access mode in that score grid and you can simply keep hitting enter until you get to the bottom the other alternative 18 and press the end key and that takes you out straight away. So if your keyboard has got an end key on it, or you can find how to do it with your laptop, then you can use that method as well. Okay, so that's that sort of hasn't changed very much. Um, let's have a look at setting up events. Well, the first thing we'll do is look at this item here. The program now has environments. Um, what we're currently using is the production environment. You notice up there, it's this production environment. We have two other environments available and we'll choose the test environment. That 
pop up is specific to my computer and you won't see that one but you'll see these synchronized database items okay now this is the test environment and you'll see that is highlighted up there now in this test environment you can do almost anything without causing any damage either to the website or to your production environment so here's an event which has been closed let's create a new one we'll use the event wizard create a new event again we go through the database synchronization you would choose your club from there and it will remember the last one that you had selected and this is where it starts to look different now we have four different types of events that we can set up for an SCA club and the default is an SCA club level event but you can also set up state events or national events or non-standard events non-standard events can have any number of um, targets you might have uh, th three rounds of 34 targets or something weird like that um, so you can do that with the non-standard but we'll stick with a club event and now we have a choice of the kind of course we're going to run and there are five types sporting clothes English sporting compact old style and the new one is compact in line um, now you find a video about that in your your help files under the release notes if you want to see what that is but we'll stick with sporting clothes now we get a choice of the types of event we can set up um, we'll pick something a little different like a hundred target with four courses and one day now this is something new as well we can set up an event with four grades or the triple A or the double A A B and C or three grades where we merge double A with A um, we can do some other things too like juniors and sub juniors can be merged but We'll, we'll stick with four grade competition because we do those at Rocky Gully fairly regularly you set up the event date um, as usual then it produces a default title for you in this case it's the June 2019 100 target sporting clothes event it's high gun but you can choose handicap or limited handicap if you want uh, pick a sponsor uh, we won't update live scores on this occasion but you can in the test environment if you wish and you can go on through all the other um, details and set up those as well if you wish or we could have just hit the finish button um, back there but there we are we have now got a new event um, and we can go on now if you're doing some testing in the test environment you will find a very useful little function called import shooter details and there will be this CSV file which includes something like 54 shooters from the 2017 nationals event if I click on that one you can't quite see all of this screen at the moment I'll bring it down um, there are only a couple of columns in this thing there's a member number which is the SCI ID down here there's a shooter number and there's some scores quite a lot of scores so even if you've got 12 rounds or something you can still load them if you don't want to preset the scores you can select none there and then they disappear but we'll, we'll 
keep the scores. Load the data, and this takes a few seconds because it's got to update things. And there we go, we've added 56 shooters. OK, and there we are. Notice that this score entry area now has the ability to scroll up and down. If you've got a lot of ra um, rounds, you can scroll it sideways as well. But there you go, that's set up an event, and you can now go through the, the usual details. Recommend you reset the competitions now. Yep, we'll let it do that. Now there's a tie for three-way tie for third in A grade. So let's put in some shoot-off scores. OK, that's resolved them. We complete A grade. And we now move on to B grade. Um, we'll put in some shoot-off scores for them. You could actually use the up and down arrows if you don't have shoot-off scores. So complete B grade. And now it says all competitions have been processed. We click OK. Are you ready to close this event? Yes, we are. Well, won't provide any feedback at this stage, but you can do that if you wish. Um, if you've encountered some difficulties during the event, it's worthwhile um, getting that, those details off to me, and I can have a look at if there's something can be done to fix it. So that's completed one event in our test environment. Um, I'll just delete that event. And there it is. It's been deleted. And it's gone back to the previous event that we were looking at. OK, so that's all for now, folks. I'll come up with another one for you as soon as I can.